So you're using your Chromebooks and you want to model a lesson for your kids but can't figure out how to shoot it up on your screen. This tutorial will show you how. First, take a look at the back of your projector. If your projector has an HDMI port like this one on the back, you'll be good to go. If what you see is a VGA port, which is the blue one on the left there, you can also make it work with a special tool I'll tell you about in a minute. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface, and this is what you use to connect digital device to digital device. Your Chromebook is a digital device, so if you look at the back, you'll see two USB ports there on the left, and the HDMI, the funny looking port there on the right side, that's what you're going to connect to your projector. So the first thing you'll do is plug the HDMI cable into the back of your Chromebook. Easy. Next, if your projector is HDMI compatible, plug the other end into the back of the projector. Now I don't make it look very easy here, but open up your Chromebook, turn on your projector, and let the magic begin. Now you're going to notice as soon as my projector comes on that my screen changes. That indicates that my projector is working. Now before I launch into the finer points of projecting, I want to talk about these older projectors that don't have HDMI ports. You're going to want to get a device like this one. This is called an HDMI to VGA converter. In case you were curious, VGA stands for Video Graphics Array, and this technology came around back when you were probably still wearing your hair like this. How embarrassing! So this device is designed to bridge the old into the new. VGA to HDMI. The unfortunate news is that this device comes with a price tag of about $40. The good news is that once you've come up with your funding source, this tool is perfect. You just fit the VGA cord into the appropriate spot, screw it in to secure it, and pop the HDMI cable into its spot. Now even though these are kind of expensive little gadgets, plus the cost of the HDMI cord, you wouldn't necessarily need one for every device, maybe just one for your whole lab. So if you have an old projector like this one sitting around your school or in your room, all hope is not lost. You're going to take that VGA cable and plug it into the appropriate spot in the back of your projector, and voila! Now unfortunately this particular projector doesn't even have a working bulb, so I'm going to show you back with my regular projector. I'm going to plug that VGA cord into the VGA port, be sure to tighten the pegs so it's nice and secure, and then turn your projector on. Luckily these new projectors only take a few seconds to come on. Now there's two ways to view your display. One is by extending the screen, and that basically makes your projector into a second monitor. You'll be able to drag windows back and forth from your Chromebook up to the screen as if you have dual monitors. This is really useful when you're trying to do something on your screen that you're not quite ready for your students to see yet. You can tell that you're extending your screen when you click in your settings bar. It will show extending screen to whatever projector you have. You'll also be able to tell because what you see on your Chromebook screen is not the same as what you see up on your projected screen. You can click on the window and drag it back and forth from your Chromebook to the screen, from your Chromebook to the screen. It's kind of frustrating actually. It's not my favorite way, so let me show you another way. Pressing these two magical keys on your keyboard, control, mirror, the mirror key being the one just above the five, will toggle you back and forth between mirroring your screen and extending your screen. It's easy to tell that you're mirroring. You can either check your settings bar or you can look at your projected image. If what you see on your Chromebook matches what your students see up on the board, you've done it. So check out that lab. Fill out the sheet. Put a date in on your school's Google Calendar, do whatever it is you've got to do, and start modeling some Chromebook lessons. For more information and ideas on how to use your Chromebook, or to access our printable guides, visit us at bpstis.org. You'll find lots more resources, just like this one, produced by your Billings Public Schools Technology Integration Specialists.